Yo, what is going on everyone? This is Saint Denalia, and I'm bringing you now episode 4 of our Pokemon brand Nuzlocke. You watched last time, you're going to know that I got us a Pidgey, got us an Ekans at level 17 outside Pokemon Center in Mercer City. It was a little bit scary and uh, also I had to say goodbye to Zubat. Rest in peace. First death of the game, not really what we wanted, but still, we're in a good position. I'm still right outside the gym. We'll go in, see what trainers are in there, and see what the uh, gym leader's got as well. I've had a good day today. I've been out on a walk. It's been beautiful here in Mansfield. Been in another walk with my missus, playing a bit of Pokemon Go. So that's cheered me up a little bit, and now I am pumped to get this episode going. So let's begin. And here we go. So here we are in front of the gym where we left off last time. And we're going to go smash a cart, man. Let's go. Right, let's talk to our number one fan. I can tell you what it takes to become a Pokemon champ. I'm a trainer, but I can tell you how to win. Let me take you to the top. Yeah, come on then, lad. First Pokemon out in a match is at the top of the Pokemon list. By changing the of Pokemon, matches could be made easier. I knew that. Right, so, looks like we can't avoid this trainer, so let's just jump straight in. Stop right there, kid. No chance, motherfucker. And we have Junior Trainer. And he's got a Squirtle. Whoa. Wow, Squirtle at level 11, that's actually pretty sick. So, what do we do? Let's see if we can take his accuracy down. He goes for the uh, defense, which is good. Accuracy comes down. Goes to the tackle now, he knows I'm going to take his accuracy down. I'm going to hit him one more of them. And then hopefully. He will miss enough for me to take advantage. That's how it does my defence. Gust hits. Oh man, that does nothing. But he is missing attacks. So that's a good opportunity for him to switch out. And we will take out our own saviour. Our own squirrel. Wow, those sprites look, look like they are two different Pokemon from the front and the back. Well... No putting in for water gun. So let's go for the tackle. Yeah, oh man. Well, at least he's missing his moves, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't really have an ace against uh, water types at the minute. So it's all about just grinding them out, I think. Goes for the tail whip, lowers the defense. I can take that. So I'm guessing this guy's going to have another water type to go on next. Uh, I'm trying to think what other water types are in this game. Could be a horsey. Uh, Cedra, Slowbro, Seal, uh, Dugong. Speed gets level 9, love that. So, it's a Seal. And let's start off with Spidge again, seeing as we switch training that guy at the minute. Come on, Spidge, let's do it. Do it for the family, brother. Okay, so we'll hit Sand Attack. That Growl's going to lower our attack, that's fine, so I'm not planning on doing much offense with Spidge. Just want to get that accuracy down. I feel like, I mean, a low level seal, does it have an ice type attack? I don't know. We're going to go, it's got headbutt though, that's pretty, that hits pretty hard. Well, the accuracy is way down now, so let's get Snacky Snacky in there. So you can go and finish these guys off. Now, I think we've got wrap on this. Oh, headbutt hits, eats that up. And uh, we have got wrap, we've also got poison sting. So let's hit the wrap to start off with damage. Oh wait, wrap's different in this game, isn't it? It just goes continually. Yeah. And you know what? I'm gonna finish him off with wrap here. Oh, that's perfect. Go on, one more. Yes. Easy. Oh, that was absolute piece of cake. I'm trying to stop swearing as much. Let's get to start getting me in trouble. Right, beautiful. So let's go heal up. I think, oh, Bullaby, press the wrong button. Uh, let's go heal up and. Wait, where's the Pokemon Center in this town? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh, there we go. Yeah, we'll go heal up and then we'll go take on the gym leader. Now, what level were those Pokemon? Both level 11, so I'm guessing gym leader's maybe 12, 13. Would, seems. Seems to make sense on the curve. I think I'm good for that. You know, I've got one at level nine now. I think Spidge is at level nine. Savior is at level fifteen. Yeah, and then Snake is at level seventeen. So that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, I get a level. 
level the uh, might level save you up this battle as well, which would be good. Because it means it's gonna evolve, we can get us a war turtle. Right. Yeah, just one trainer. That's good for me. I'm a cart man. I'm training a water type Pokemon. It's alright because I ain't got any fire attacks. And I've not got anything strong either, but say so I didn't warn you, let's fight. Let's do it man. Let's do it. I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of you. Stop trying to be Brock. You're not Brock. That's it, Spidge. Now, Horsey. I'm trying to think what moves Horsey's going to have. Probably Bubble. Probably like Growl or some shit like that. So. Hey. Calls it. Bubble. Yeah, uh, you know, it's pretty hard. I'm going to have one more accuracy go. And we're going to start gusting the shit out of him. Ah, oh, I swore again. Ooh, that crit though. Oh, nasty. Yeah, see, now that's a risk I'm not taking. In fact, actually, let's uh, use a potion because I would quite like to switch to be getting some experience to this. So, I don't want to switch him out. Because if he takes this hit and the next couple aren't crits, ah, uh, he outspeeds though, but he misses because of the accuracy. Perfect. Ah, oh, that's not doing much damage. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not going to win this with Spidge. I'm going to have to switch it out. So let's get Saviour in. Wait. Wait. Okay. Let's get Snacky in there then. No, I'm meant to do, but just as good. Eats that. And then uh, that rat was effective earlier, so we'll try that. You little. Ah! Gets the rat. Nicely done. Can't move. Keep it going. And we will squeeze this guy to death. Literally squeezing the crap out of him. One more. And there we go. Horsey is dead. Thanks, Spidge. Up to level 10. Snicky. Thank you very kindly. Vaporeon. Oh, I love Vaporeon. One of my favourites. But I'm afraid Vaporeon, my saviour, the Lord Saviour Squirtle. It's going to take you down. Here comes the tackle. We're both going for tackle. And gets the crit. His crit is only as effective as my actual tackle. And his water moves aren't doing much against me either. So there's the water gun. Man, that's, that water gun's actually doing decent damage. I mean, Makes me want to wonder if I should do mine actually. <laughs> no. The answer's no. Oh man, I mashed too hard. Stop mashing. That vapor on that speed, that's mad. Let's get the tackle in, come on. Oh, okay, now we stop doing damage. Because we are not getting tricked by a bide. So let's do the right. Tail Whip lowers his defense. Withdraw heightens our defense. Let's do the Tail Whip. We'll hit another Tail Whip until it unleashes. There we go. And, ooh! Wowee! Was not expecting that. So let's do a heal or do we get the snake? Yeah, let's get our snake out. Go with me. There it is. It's the sound attack. Oh, using my own tactics against me. You little shit. Let's get them wrapping. Oh, man, that accuracy matters. There it is again. Oh. Come on, I hit this wrap, I can finish him off. It's just going to keep going for that until I'm absolutely dead in the water. Water, get it? Yeah, it worked very funny. Wrap, 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 wrap. And uh, let's swap out. Let's use that... That tactics work well, but AI in this is... I feel like it's better than actual Gen 1 because I cannot remember trainers being this clever. Alright, so here we go then. Well, it's going to have to be a heal because if I swap out, I'm liable to die. So let's heal. And then we'll heal somebody who can actually hit. And we'll swap back out. Goes for the bide. That's perfect. While I just uh, swap my guys around. Get Savior back out there. Let's 
Release his energy. Get the tackle. Ooh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. One more of them. Oh, man. Come on. Hit, 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 hit. There we go. Knew we wouldn't let me down. You never let me down if you squirrel. Yes. Victory music, please. We are the champion. Well, not yet, but we'll get there. It's proof of your victory is the marine badge. Sick. It spares Pokemon become stronger. More powerful. Technic Flash. Yeah, I read that there isn't actually Flash in this game, so that's not very useful. We get a TM still, and it is... Can we talk to Pokemon? I yeah, know, but tell me what it is. Octazooka. Ooh. I don't even think I've ever heard of that. Octazooka, it sounds like something that my... What's, it, what's this one? Bide? No, I'm not bothering with that. Sounds like something that my Squirtle might like. Octazooka. Yes, please. There we go. Octazooka. These didn't, Squirtle didn't even level up. Yes, please. And we're going to have... Uh, it with a Tail Whip. And we're now we know Octazooka. Perfect. So, let us work out where we're going now. Um, now, there's a route south and a route north, I think. So let's go and find out which way we need to go. Creepy lavender music, fuck off. Right, there is no route south. I uh, made that up. That's cool, though. Right, have we been in all these places? Yes, we have. That's where we've got the bike voucher. From the house here. Is there anything worth taking? Yeah, she's got like a cube bone that she wants you to talk to for some reason. None of these little things have got a door. That's useful as well. Pokemon. Right, yeah, actually. I think about it. Let's get stuck to it. Because I think I've only got one potion left. So, let's get enough for the journey. I think five's probably good. And... No, that'll do for now. Yeah, oh, man, I mean, Repel's attempting, but... It's kind of a waste of money. It's going to slow me down a bit, but I don't mind. Right, let's go. I've already had my encounter up here. I got it. It was an Ekans, and I did not catch it. So, we go for Pidgey. Sort you out, Pidgey. Oh, what? I didn't heal. Jeez, that is a lucky mistake. Right. I'm going to make quick work of this then so I can get back in the York. Well, it's a water-type move. That's good to know. Oh, man, that is power. Nice one. Level 16. We are evolving. Oh, yeah. This is the first evolution of the Versus. Thank you very much. My saviour is now even more of a saviour because it's a water doll. Yeah, boy, look at that sprite, man. He looks angry. He looks ready to kick ass. It looks like we are going to be a champion of this region called Region or Region or Region or something. Let me know what this region's called because I don't know how to pronounce it. Someone tell me. Right. I'm going to go see the nurse this time. I feel like I want the nurse to have a chance here because that's what nurses should have in Pokemon. Why is there not a chancy there? More creepy lavender music. Hopefully, this is the only time we're going to run across that. I think so. Right, okay. Now, if we run through the grass, does it make it... Does it make more Pokemon appear? Does it attract more Pokemon? I'm thinking that, for the most part, wild, count wild encounters, I'm probably just going to run past... Um, I might battle one or two, especially when I'm in a situation like this where I really want to level this uh, spiral up because it's a little bit underleveled. But I think I might just skip and uh, make sure I battle pretty much every trainer and get the experience that way. I feel like the battles from Wild Encounters don't add up to much really. And I'm not planning on training like a whole team of six anyway. I'm probably going to stick to three. Attack continues. Oh man, I hate that rap. I mean, I love it. 
well, well, it's my turn to use it, but I've got to hit that ramp. Oh, another one. How many times does that hit? Like six? <sighs> Made me nervous to go again then. It's cool, it's cool. Works out nicely. Good, right. Let's heal up and let's never battle a Ekans in the wild again. Because they do too much damage. I'd rather just run. Pidgey, I'm running from you as well. Uh, this is a trainer battle. Good, good, good. Let's go get him. Ah, oh, Ekans again. Go away, I've already got one of you, and it's better than you. Oh no, I'm battling him. Ah, this mountain here is delicious. Ah, oh, we're going up a mountain. That's where we're going next then. So, Coffin's here. In comes Spidge. Let's smash him up. So, it's a gust. Whoa, super effective. Again, not a clue why that's super effective against Coffin, but oh, but it's super effective in return as well, man. Whoa, flipping it, scary that is. Speech goes to go two levels in one go. And Diglett, no, I won't change Pokemon because Diglett is absolutely garbage against my birds. Oh man, what? This is going to be typings again, isn't it? Wind type. Goddamn wind type. <sighs> oh, that's a good job. Quick attacks. Uh, absolute power. Spid, you are becoming a power house, my son. Down he goes. Yeah, nice one. That cleared my head. What level does Spid evolve? Hmm. These are things that a real Pokemon Master would know, but I am just mediocre. Right, so we're on Route 55. That is good to know. I still f I don't feel like I picked up a map from anyway, and possibly should have one. Um, I've got one on my tablet here, but I've not loaded it up, so... I may get that up soon. So I need to know when I'm on new routes, so I know when I can get a new encounter. I would not like to have an illegal encounter. Drowsy, and now I'm flying type, and it knows psychic. I don't think that goes well together. So let's get my saviour, the Lord War Turtle, out there. Goes hypnosis. Doesn't affect you. I've got nothing, son. And Otsuka is going to finish you off. Garandanti. Oh, no, it didn't. What? So Otsu's got a water type that can poison. That is sick. Need more of that in my life, man. That is so good. Look at that, man. Alright, okay, I need to start saving that, not just mashing it now then. Because that's too good to waste. Grimer. Uh, yes, let's have that. Oh, let's snick a snake out there. Kind of reminds me of that snacky spelling. Kind of makes me think of Snooky. Or Snooky, or whatever her name is. That little goblin thing from uh, from Jersey Shore. Disable. Oh man, you suck. You suck, Grandma. Not even a challenge. Come on, man. Give me something, brother. You are not up to it. Brilliant. A bit more Dora. And. I don't know why I've done that, because I'm going to battle him anyway. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, there's a fly on the screen. Go away. Go away. Go. Fuck off. Ugh. So is that Joe, dude? Now, do I need to be scared of Joe, dude? Is Joe, dude, scary to a Pidgey? I'm super effective against it, but. I've... Ooh. No, 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 no. Bullshit. Ah. How did that happen, man? Amateur. Okay. 
our Charles over. Do what we should have done in the first place. Use the effectiveness. Get water gun out there. Oh, Pidgey, I'm sorry, Spidge. Rest in peace, Spidge. I'll take you to the graveyard. I'll give you a real burial, I promise. Maybe in the back garden with my recently deceased gerbils. Oh, man. God, I know better than that. Well, there we go, anyway. Guess we're just focusing on two mons now, then. And they're both pretty good levels for where I'm at at the minute as well, so I'm not too worried. No need to fret. There's a cave here, but I can just walk past it, so uh, I don't really know whether I need to go in or not. But is this a new cave I've not been in before that's a new encounter? I don't really know. Uh, I can't do anything in here until I've got strength, so uh, I may as well just not bother really. Still, let's get an encounter. If we can, there it is. Come on, something good. It's a Growlithe. That's a sick encounter. If I can look after it and not kill it. Right, so let's just hit the tackle then. Shouldn't do too much. Ooh. Raw doesn't affect Saviour. Ah, uh, see, can I hit him again? Or is that just gonna destroy him? Just remind myself of my Snacky Snakes moves. Rapley, yeah, Poison Sting is the way to go here, I think. This little bite, doesn't do much. Let's hit the Poison Sting. Oh, that did more than I thought. Jeez, I'm glad that didn't burn, um, poison him. So I might have uh, taken my opportunity away. Right, let's go for the Pokeball. Yes, we have a Growlithe on the team. Yes. The saviour giveth, the saviour taketh away. Goodbye, Zubat. Hello, Growlithe. Love that. Yes, I'm going to give him a nickname. And as a joke, my uh, younger sister bought me um, fashion dogs for Nintendo DS for my birthday. Which, uh, you know, I appreciate the thought. Um, however, I haven't actually played it. I'll show you. Not funny. So I haven't actually played it, um, but my wife has played it, and she made a dog on it called Bonnie. So, seeing as Groud's a dog, we are going to name him. Bonnie. And you are now on my team. Thank you very much. Right, do we go back and heal or do we keep plowing through? I don't know how long this route is. Let's just keep going and see what happens. If I need to track back, I will. And I'm just going to avoid that trainer for now as well until I work out what's going on. Ooh. Oh, so I've avoided that training, but I've gone the long way around. I've only got one encounter from it though, so that's pretty cool. It's not really, not really bothering me too, up too much that. So, yeah, shit tackles. I don't want to use up all the PP for my good moves. Thanks. There's a oh, there's a building. I mean, what is that? A shed? And um, there's a oh, there's a tall building. It's a mansion. Please leave. I'm meditating with my Pokemon friends. Mate, fuck your Pokemon friends. You know there's a Persian on top of your bookshelf or on top of the wall or whatever that is. Pikachu. It's not Pikachu, it's a Clefairy. But, okay. Ride on. That actually is a ride on. That's cool. Right, okay then. If that's how you're going to be, yo, we'll go. Upstairs. Now, oh, in this seems... Oh, I can use the PC here too. That's good, because I need to get rid of... Uh... I need to put Spidge into the graveyard. Thanks for playing, Spidge. Can I use the bed? No, I cannot. In the original Generation 1, this is Celadon Mansion, right? And there's an encounter at the top. A Pokeball with an Eevee in it. So, let's see if we have something here too. Me career, I do good here. Well done. 
cool boy man. Hey, I made this hack. Hopefully it looks more polished now. Then you can thank me. Now back to prison. No. I'm just a fan. No. Well, that's nice. I'm not taking credit or respect, meh. Okay, you guys are so boring. Sorry, cool boy man. Appreciate you making the mod light, but you, you're a bit boring there. And that looks like a Pokemon to me. I don't need this Pokemon, so you can have it for free. No, sir, I'm not crazy, just an idiot. Cool. Yeah, you are an idiot. I mean, unless it's something absolutely dreadful, and then you're probably pretty clever just getting rid of it. Porygon. Hey, you know what? That's not bad. Yes, I'll give a nickname for Porygon. We'll call him... Uh, oh, man, what's around me? Uh, you know what? I'm going to um, honour the recently deceased Spidge by calling this one Spodge. There we go. Now, I know. Oh, this is exactly what I need. Right, let's find out. Wind is strong against fire, rock, ghost, wood, and gas. Not very effective against grass, fire, and ground, and flying. Defensive against fire, rock, ghost, and wood, and immune to gas. Weak against electric and flying. Look, it's electric. Strange. And flying as well. You'd think it would be strong against flying wind. Sound. Strong against water. Psychic. Dark. Not very effective against normal. No effect against fighting and sound. Defensive against water, dark, steel and abnormal. And immune to ghost and sound. Oh my god, this is too much for me to remember. Jeez. Okay, I, I'm giving up on that already. I'll get a guide up in between episodes. I'll learn it that way, thank you very much. So, let's go down. Light's gone off. Oh wait, no, we're going to wait. Come on, man, what are you doing? What are you doing, dude? No, I don't want I don't want you there. Just go away. I don't I don't know why you're here right now. What is that all about? Thanks. Egypt. Man, I'm just getting that map up so I can see what I need to actually be doing. And I can't find it. So I'm just going to give up. Yeah, okay, I'll give in. Screw that. Let's look what the La Porygon is, shall we? Where is it? 13. Hey, that's not a bad level to get it out either, to be honest. And it's abnormal type. I really should have looked at what it, know, what it does. Sharpen, tackle, and conversion. So conversion changes it to the type of... Changes it to a type of an attack that you've got. Or is it changing the type that you've just been hit by? Hmm. And sharpen. I'm guessing raises attack. That seems reasonable. Here's another Reckons. We'll get away from you. I should probably start to be fair. I should probably get Growl up that front and start grinding him, but I don't know what level he is. And uh, level 9. Okay, we'll heal him up. And we'll get a couple of battles. See. If we can get him leveled. There we go. Perfect. And any of these items? No. Cool. Right, I think I'm still on Route 55, so. Hmm, there's a house. Ah, oh, okay, it's a it's an underground. Right, okay, so I'm going the right way. So after this, what's that saying? I'm, I'm just gonna to do that. What that's saying is after this, we're gonna be on a new route. This is where I live because I have no money. Ugh, that's a bit sad. I'd give you some, but nah. Get a job, you bum. This is... Great ball. Perfect. Do I have a fishing mod yet? Because I could fish here and get an encounter, I'm guessing. Uh, I think I'm not picking one up from anywhere yet, though. And as I'm going towards the harbour, pretty sure that's where I'm going to get one from. Let's just follow the path around. This is my favourite uh, route music, I think. So jolly. Reminds me of curling up under a quill as a kid and just sat playing Pokemon, not knowing where to go in Pokemon Yellow. Like, with literally no clue where to go. So I, so I think this is a new route. My encounter is Doduo. So I'm, I'm going to... 
Yeah, I'm going to try and catch. If I'm wrong, then, I mean, I'm wrong, aren't I? But uh, for me, I don't think this is too bad. So let's switch out now to Spodge. No do damage. And I mean, I, have to, I mean, do I even really want a do duo? Um, do duos can foot right off. They're really not very good. I've already got a bird as well. Yeah. Maybe I'll try and catch. Put our back up right. Oh, that is a d disgusting behaviour, do duo. Disgusting. Right, we're going to hit the tackle. Ooh, that growl might actually be helpful because it might leave enough health now. There we go. And let's get Dodo on the team. Perfect. Brilliant. Do you want to give a nickname to Dodo? Yes. And what has two heads? A rigged coin. But I don't think I can fit that in. So let's call him. D d d n no. 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 Because why not, right? Oh, is there a light in there as well? Oh, man. Come on, encounters. You are not being kind to me. Metapod. You know what? I would have, I would have preferred a metapod to a um, Doduo. Metapod's pretty cool. It's been bought free, and uh, unless it's changed, psychic bug. That's pretty cool. Live in a city. Why I love it here. No darn annoying hood rats. Absolute pig. Looking for Abra. I want to trade one for Magma. Oh man, if I had an Abra, I would not make that trade. I like to have a teleport. So, now, what's my team looking like? Can I keep pushing forward? I think I can. Now, I'm thinking I'm not going to train that Doduo because, meh, I just feel like Doduo's ass. Like, I don't feel like Doduo's ass. But my opinion of Doduo is that he's ass. So, why would you train ass? You know? It doesn't make sense to train ass. No matter how much you train ass, it's always going to be an ass. It's the truth. It's the truth. So, the ember. Oh, you know what? I'm playing that risk there. Flipping heck. I've got to stop doing that. I'm going to get... No, actually, you know what? I'm going to keep him in front. And I'll just keep remembering to switch it out, hopefully. Because if I forget he's dead. Oh, it's an oddish. At level 10, though. Do I outspeed an oddish? Oh, I'd love to take a gamble. There we go. And surely super... F oh my god, that Oddish is a tank, but it is burn, which is going to half its attack, which could be useful here. Oh my god, thank goodness for that. Hit by the burn, and I'm not taking the risk of... Um, of waiting to see whether that Ember could have finished it off. I'm just going to heal. Man, that was close. That was scary, like truly scary. Hurt by the burn. And I think in one more ember, coupled with the burn, might finish it off. Ah, no, it's just going to go for absorb again. This is another thing I would have rather had apart from that do duo on this route. It makes me wonder what else is in that cave if the first thing I saw was a growler, but there's more rare things in there. But, alas. Oh, man. Ah, oh, I could get these crap encounters. Come on, we may as well get a body up to level 10 if we can. I can only attack as fast. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Man, that's, this, these Pokemon on this route are dangerous, man. <sighs> Making me nervous. Like, I've got sweat on. So let's get the bike going. Hopefully that 
finishes it off. Yeah, critical hit, that matters. And that looks like we could be about to get out of this route and into the city, which would be great. So I need a Pokemon Center. This gate leads straight to Haywood City. I love the city. Yeah, me too. Remember me? I'm if you caught 70 kinds of Pokemon? No! I don't even think I've caught seven! Yep. I mean, I feel like that's a bit, like, a bit harsh. Um, but okay. Trainer tips. Pressing B during evolution cancels the whole process. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not about that life. I like the evolutions. I mean, I know you can hold off evolutions so that you get a new random Pokemon. Slowbro is loafing around. Shut uh, I know you can slow down evolutions so that you get uh, moves earlier and supposedly maybe get stronger, quicker. I don't know, but I am uh, not about that life. I like the evolutions. So I hold it off. Good. I don't know where Agumburg uh, City is. I'm glad you came from there. You wish you had HMO2. I think that's fly. I wish I had that as well and I wish I could use it because it would make this game so much easier. I'm going to fly everywhere, man. Thank you, Pokemon Fighting Fit. We hope to see you again. Oh, I hope to see you again too. And we have. Right, do I need to put anybody away? They won't, none of these died, did they? No. No. That's, no, my team's good. I don't need to put anybody away. I'll keep everyone. Keep everyone out. Right, so at least I know now. That I have got the gym badge this episode. Like, if I need to go back, I can just go back to the previous gym. That's the rule I set myself. I'm going to abide by it. I'm. Ooh, is that a new route, or does it just does that little patch there connect to back to the route below? Because if that's a new route, that's Encounter City, bitch. I feel like that is a new route out right there. Encounter City, sixty-four. Yes, I think that might be Route 64. So let's get the encounter and then we'll leave this episode here. See what we get. Come on, something good, something good. It's a spear out, man. It's a level 16 though, actually. Yeah, that's worth having a go at. It's definitely not, I'm definitely not having a go in it with uh, my level 9. Level 9 Bonnie though. Let's get Snacky back out there. And you, my friend, are going to be my flyer, hopefully, if I can keep you alive. Oh, that crit matters. Now, if I hit it again and it doesn't crit, that puts me in a good place for throwing a ball. So let's try that. Nice and done. Get a Pokeball out there. Ooh, just one Pokeball and a Great Ball. Need to stock up. Yeah. No sweat, no drama. You are mine. And tiny bird eats bugs. Blah blah blah. Don't care. Do you want to give it a nickname? Yes. And we're gonna call you a very Pokemon-inspired name. Uh, oh man, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to fit this in. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna call you. Bug catcher. Oh, it's just gonna go in. Look at that. Bug catcher. Perfect. That is sick. Right, well, that's my encounter. And that is gonna be the end of this video, which was eventful. Again, you know what? I feel like having eventful nuzlocks is good because it's more interesting and a little bit more fun, but it also makes my heart hurt a little bit. I would much rather <laughs> have an easy time, stop sacking off mons all over the place, uh, and smash the game. I'm thinking there is a gym in this town, so let's just go check that out first. There's a mart. There's... That's another route out of town. I'm not worrying about that right now. And he's blocking something there. So maybe there's... No oh, no! Okay, right, okay, so we're going to stop it here. I'm not doing this battle right now. I'm not in the mindset for this guy. And when we come back, 
you are going to see the rival battle. <laughs> oh, man. The start of the next episode could literally be the end of the lock. Because I probably should have grinded a little bit before I went out there. Either way, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, there's links to where you can donate on um, in the description. Uh, my Twitter's there as well. And uh, yeah, again, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time for episode 5. Peace.